Hi, this is Jason here at RoofSnap. And Katrina. And uh, we have another frequently asked question for you. Um, you know, where we, off, where we left off last time uh, is we had started a project and we uh, snapped the near map image mm -hmm. uh, that we want to use to make the uh, drawing. Great. Um, so I guess uh, what's, what's kind of the next uh, sequence, the next question? So next step and question is uh, how do we start drawing lines and measuring uh, this roof, yep. cl closing my facets and, and things like that? And <clears throat> as Katrina said, you know, how do I close my facets? And, and that's uh, some terminology that we use mm -hmm. uh, for the app, and I'll uh, discuss that all here. So we're still here in the project, and in order to go back in to begin drawing, I'm going to tap on the orange sketch square button tile, uh, whatever you might want to call it. And uh, of course, I always start in the pan and zoom mode. So here I am going to pan and zoom in on my first section, this rear slope. And uh, then I'm going to switch to the draw, uh, to the draw button here. Um, and, and we'll look at Google Street View in a, in a later frequently asked question, and we'll look at Bing's bird's eye view later on. But for right now, let's just draw up some lines. So. I tap on that gray thing, the gray space, the gray bar, to slide that drawer over and out of my way. And when I put my finger on the screen, you can see that it drops a cursor here. So I'm touching, and where I'm touching is the white circle. But the cursor itself, I can move around, and there's a little bit of offset. And I can increase that offset by tapping on Settings. Uh, and let's say I want to move that horizontal offset a little bit further away from my finger. And the vertical offset, I can drag that out and make that further away as well. And then scroll down and hit the done. Now that cursor, especially on a phone, is a little more comfortable for me to use. What I'm going to do <clears throat> is by keeping my drawing finger on the screen, which I'm all thumbs here. I'm, I'm just, let's see, there we go. <laughs> I'm all thumbs on the phone, right? So okay. I've got my right thumb drawing, holding the cursor in place. And with my left thumb, you'll see when this little white circle appears, I'm just going to tap. And in tapping, it starts my first line. And I'm going to pull it out all the way to the end of that first eave. And when I get to where I want to be, I'm just going to tap on the screen again and then start moving my finger to draw the next line. I noticed that you're not picking up that drawing finger throughout this process. No, I have left it on the screen the whole time. Because, see, if I pick up my finger right now, that line disappears. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. So let's zoom out a little bit, go back to draw. But now if I want to start where I left off, I can take my cursor and put it right on that spot and tap and start a new line. And when I get here, I'm going to uh, tap again and come down. And you'll see my cursor will change to a larger red circle when I have connected to that very first starting point. Now, if I pick up my finger, the line disappears. Oh and that's what you'll have to always remember. If you draw out a line and pick up your finger, so we tap to start the line and we tap to finish the line. There's two taps with every line. Mm -hmm. Now, right now, our shape isn't, uh, you know, as straight as it could be, and that's okay. Let's go ahead and draw in a few more lines. So let's put our cursor on that point and tap to start the line. Tap again. Tap again. And I'm just going to keep going, tapping after every line, sort of playing a bit of connect the dots here. Tap again and come up the valley. Tap again and go back down the other valley. Tap again and come up, and we're going to see that I'll connect to that point. Tap. Now I can take my fingers off the screen. There we go. And you can see what I've been doing here. Now, I want to check my progress before I get all the way done. I want to make sure that I've drawn these facets correctly. Uh, and by correctly, I mean, you know, we'll still straighten out the lines, but when I switch into facets mode here, any section that I've drawn completely all the way around and, and attached all my lines correctly are going to be shaded in blue and are going to have a default 0, 012 pitch value. So let's go back to draw. Actually, let's go to pan and zoom for a second and move the screen down a bit so that we can draw this lower section. And I put my cursor on that point where the valley meets the eave and I tapped. 
and now I'm drawing the, the line. I come down to the bottom, I tap, I come across to the ridge, and I do have to tap here at the ridge. I cannot draw all the way across. Otherwise, I'll have no place to connect my ridge. Yeah, that's right. I won't have a, what we call a joint. So let's just draw the ridge now. Come across the top, tap, facets, there we go. Go back to draw, put my cursor here, come over to the eave, come up and connect. Now we've got one last section of the roof here. So let's go ahead and go back to draw, put our cursor right on the corner there, come up, tap, come over, and go a little past because there is an underhang here. We've got lots of videos talking about complex overhangs and underhangs, so if you want to see more about that, uh, definitely check out some of our other videos. But at this point, I have um, all my facets and all my lines. Great. So we've successfully drawn the lines. Uh, we need to clean it up a bit, but uh, I'm going to save that for a later video. So thanks so much for joining us today. That's how you draw the lines and close the facets. Stay tuned. See you soon.